Happy weekend, everyone. I am back with another favorite, and today's favorite is frankincense. This is one of the oils that comes in the starter bundle, and this is definitely a heavy hitter. If you have major issues going on, like I mean major issues, you want frankincense in your life. I try to never run out of it. It's also really good for any kind of skin issues. Um, if you happen to get a burn in the kitchen or if you have a scar that you want special help healing. Um, I, I used to have, you can see this little dark spot on my face. That dark spot was getting um, quite large. It was at least twice as big and twice as dark. And I started um, applying frankincense straight on it and it really lightened up. Um, another thing that I used frankincense for is um, when we, generally we go um, somewhere warm every winter. This winter we couldn't, so we are um, feeling sorry for ourselves a little bit. But anyway, when we first started doing that, we thought it would be wise to go to the tanning beds so that we wouldn't burn. So we would go to the tanning beds and get a good tan before we went. And um, after I came back from holidays, I had this itchy thing on my back. I wasn't sure what it was. And I got my daughter-in-law to have a look at it because I thought it was a bug bite or something. And she said, it is not a bug bite. Do not scratch it. It is some kind of weird looking mole. So I started putting frankincense on it. And within two weeks, it was gone. Well, I didn't learn my lesson, so the next year we went on holidays again. We went tanning. I got a nice tan. I came back. I had another one somewhere else on my back. And again, I applied frankincense. And again, it went away. So uh, we do not use the tanning beds before we go on holidays anymore because I realize um, they're not good for you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post some links below this video so that you can go and do some of your own research because I'm not allowed to make any claims or anything like that and I, and I wouldn't want to. I'm not a healthcare professional and you should always do your own research. But um, I'm just going to say frankincense is a heavy hitter that you do not want to be without. And another fun story, I mean, I grew up reading the Bible and hearing Bible stories my whole life. And... Just an example of, you know, we, we hear things our whole life and never really stop to think about it. I heard the story of baby Jesus and the wise men bringing him frankincense, myrrh, and gold all the time. Never once did I stop to think, what is frankincense? Until I heard about essential oils. I, I never stopped to think about what was frankincense, and I had no idea that it was an essential oil. And so is myrrh. Um, and also, frankincense also comes in the plus line, which means that it's been approved by Health Canada for ingestion. So you can add uh, a few drops to an empty veg veggie capsule and take it internally if you want to every day. It doesn't taste all that great, so I wouldn't really add it to tea or juice. You can if you want to, but um, or if you have a cold sore, I mean, you could put that straight on there. That would probably be really good. But anyway, it is safe to ingest. And um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. And I will see you all again tomorrow with another favorite.